Also new at 10 o'clock tonight, a possible case of road rage may have led to a driver being followed about 20 miles home, and that's when things got even more violent. Channel 2's Jonathan Martinez live in Mission Bend, Fort Bend County, to explain. Jonathan? Well, certainly a scary situation for the folks who were shot at. Investigators suspect they were followed from some distance away. Shots rang out. Over 15 shots were fired. Incredibly, though, no one was hurt. In the middle of a mission bin neighborhood, shattered glass and a car riddled with bullets. The people inside the car at the time, grateful to be alive. Oh, we're very thankful. We're very thankful. We're blessed. Gregory Martin says he and a passenger were about to pick someone else up at a home here when out of nowhere they became targets. Some guys pulled up and shot the car we was in there. Bullets were flying past, flying everywhere. Witnesses nearby left shaken by what happened and just as scared the suspects got away. And all authorities say nearly 20 rounds were fired. Amazingly, no one was hit. When they started hitting, everybody started getting low and everybody started running. It was crazy. I mean, when you hear it, you know, you, your first reaction is your children. Is you know, the safety of kids. And we have other kids that live in our neighborhood. According to witnesses, this is a look at the vehicle involved in the shooting just before the suspects took off. Investigators believe the suspect vehicle may have followed the car that was targeted from the Spring Branch area. Martin, however, believes otherwise. I don't know if they were following us or not, but I don't think they were because we don't, we're not into any bad activity or anything like that. He also admits he has no idea why anyone would be shooting at them. Oh, we don't know. We don't know. Probably mistaken identity. I don't. I don't know. And tonight, investigators are still searching for the suspects, along with a clear motive in this case. If you know anything about it, you're urged to contact the Fort Bend County Sheriff's Office. Reporting live tonight from Mission Bend, I'm Jonathan Martinez, KPRC Channel Two News.